Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing our February favorites. It is a short month and because my January favorites was late, I feel like I only have like two, three weeks to actually, you know, go through the products and pick what I like. Like always, I will do inserts of me applying this makeup using some of my favorite products this month. I forgot to press play when I started recording the lip, but I'll tell you what it is. So if you're interested, continue watching. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tanya. I'd love for you to subscribe down below and let's get started. We are under a tornado watch here and the wind is absolutely insane. I live in Tennessee. There's tornado watches every other day. So um, we're kind of used to that. Let's start off with a primer. The primer of choice this month is this Vanish primer. This is from Hourglass. It's the Vanish airbrush primer. And the reason this is in a favorite, it's because it's in my project pan and I'm trying to use it up. But the more I use it, the more I learn that I really enjoy it. I mean, I've always liked this one. But since I found the Tom Ford, I preferred that one over this one. This one is still really nice around the pore area, but it also gives moisture. Like it's not drying at all and it's not matte and powdery. It just feels nice and moisturizing over my skin. And my skin and my nose is just completely peeling. It's just, I've been in the sun and you know, skin. So this felt really nice this month on my skin. And yeah, this definitely has been one that I've been reaching for in an attempt to succeed on my project pan, but I've actually really been enjoying this one. Moving on to foundation, I really have only used a couple foundations this month. I have tried the Gucci foundation and I'm I'm liking I'm, I have a love hate relationship with that foundation. First of all, the color was off. I had to go in return, like swap the color, but I don't have my right color yet because they didn't have it in stock. But uh, that foundation, it's such full coverage. It really does last so well throughout the day. It's one of my longest longest wearing foundation, um, but it it just didn't look the best over the pores. But the other one that, again, it's in my project pan is this Cogendo foundation. You guys can see, you probably can't, but it's like here. So I'm trying to use up a little bit more. I'm determined to use this up this month because it is quite an old foundation and I don't want it to go bad. So far, it still looks great uh, and smells great. Mine is in the shade 123 and I absolutely love this foundation. This is such a beautiful light on the skin it gives me a light medium coverage um it's it's just like skin it's a water foundation it's so beautiful i feel like i'm wearing nothing when i wear this one yet uh, it really evens out and smooths out my face and the texture it goes really well over that it really um goes well over dry patches, which has been a big thing this month. We have a friend here. Anyway, it's it's just been a bad skin month for me, and really this has been absolutely wonderful. The other two foundations that I've been reaching for are the Chantecai one. The one I'm wearing today is the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer, and I love this one. I love this one so much. So in the beginning, I was so obsessed with the Shantikai Future Skin Foundation that the moisture was like, oh, it's nice, but it's not my Future Skin Foundation. But I've found myself really reaching for this one because it's so easy and it doesn't give you full coverage. It gives you a light coverage. It's a little bit buildable, not too much, but you could do a light medium coverage. And I like the finish. The finish is more of a softer, it's not luminous, it's not matte, but it's just a natural finish. And I really like the way it looks. I use my fingers to blend it out. The color is vanilla. And you know, because it's more of a light coverage, even if I'm darker or lighter, I can kind of make this color work. I like it. I like it. I use it as a light coverage and I think it works really well. There's something that it does to my face that it's it's kind of like a filter. It just makes my face look better and it doesn't cover me up, which I really like. I'm not a full coverage girl. I like to see my freckles. I have quite a lot of freckles. Even if the camera doesn't show it, I've always had freckles and I like them. 
So this has been definitely a go-to and I like how much you get in here. You get 1.7 ounces, 50 grams. I think that is really nice. You do pay a lot of money for this. There's gonna be a lot of Shantikai in here because I've been testing this uh, brand for a couple months and I have done a full face Shantikai. I can link it down below if you're interested, but um, you know, I've, I've, I've been loving on Shantikai. Uh, and the next one is nothing new, the Future Skin Gel Foundation. I love this one so much. I'm trying to hear if the, that was a tornado siren or not. No, it's just the wind. Um, the color looks quite peachy in here, but honestly on the skin, once I blend it out, it kind of meshes with my skin. I can get... Um, light coverage out of this one medium and medium buildable i don't even want to call it medium full because it never is quite full coverage but i can get good good enough coverage where i wouldn't feel the need for um reaching for a heavier foundation but the the beautiful thing about this is just how beautiful it looks on the skin it looks just like my skin. It's not noticeable. The finish is very natural. It's my perfect foundation. Um, I want to try the Chanel one. I've actually tried it once and the color was so dark and like peachy. It did not work for me. And uh, so it's the Sublimage foundation from Chanel. So I'm, I want to get that one one day. But for now, this is absolutely beautiful. Um, it quickly has overtaken all my other foundations. Even my Clé de Peau, I still reach for this one over it because the texture is just so skin-like and it's light on the skin, you don't feel it. And I wear it more as a light coverage foundation. Like if you want a full coverage foundation, this is not for you. This is for some people that want their skin to just look better and a little bit more perfected, but still natural. Anyway, talked about this quite a lot on my channel lately and I'll, I'll put that down. For concealer, my go-to has been this Tom Ford concealer. I've reviewed this last month, I think, and or maybe it was this be the beginning of this month, but I love it. This is more of a medium coverage foundation. I can't get more than a medium coverage. I mean, I have a little dark circles. I have some pimple here and I mean, I don't care. I truly, I like to look Put together i don't need to look perfect and this is a great uh, concealer for that i feel like i've already used quite a bit since this product's new um i really like it i like the way it blends on the skin i like the coverage that i get i like the way it lasts throughout the day i don't have to powder it even though it has a luminosity to it i truly don't have to powder this today i did because i wanted to show you the powder but it's one of those that will not budge like it does not crease on me which all concealers crease on me but this one somehow it works so well with my skin and i truly love it it's been definitely my go-to concealer this one and the colfi concealer have been the ones that i've reached for the most the colfi i've talked about it so much all right the only powder i want to talk about is this one from fluoresces now i am testing a lot of fluoresces products and i will be doing a video on that too but i want to take my time i want to get to know the products these were sent to me so i want to be extra careful with what i recommend and what i don't i don't want you guys to feel like oh just because i get something i think it's good that's never gonna happen but this powder really is absolutely wonderful. It is, um, it has a mesh right here. I feel like the camera can't show it because it's, it's washing it out, but it has a mesh on it. And I use this puff or these from um, Amazon. I get a pack of, I don't know, nine for like 10 bucks from Amazon. And I just puff my face. It's such a soft powder, extremely undetectable but it helps blur it's it's very light powder it reminds me a little bit of the makeup forever hd loose powder that i absolutely love so much and this is very very good i love it it and it's just easy powder that sets 
and that's about it and that's all i want in a powder i don't want it to look like powder like right now you couldn't tell that i put powder under my eyes it's so light and airy and soft it doesn't crease it doesn't look bad so i'm really loving this powder that i thought i should mention it it says uh fluorescent gorgeous peach blossom powder it doesn't even smell like peach yeah. anyway I don't know what it's called that but it has a cool mechanism like you have to turn it and then open it that's it for powders blushes I do feel like I've tested a lot of blushes I love my Charlotte Tilbury blushes are so good so these right here I really like the pink one I thought that the pillow talk would be my favorite but I've been reaching for the pink the most out of all of them this is Pillow Talk Pink Pop, and it's just so, such a beautiful color on me. Um, you can see it right there. It's a soft, a little bit more warm pink. It's not that cool tone pink. Those pinks pull warm on me. There's something in my skin. Every cool tone blush that I use pulls warm on me, um, but this one stays this way, and I really, really like it. I... Even, I think I did a reel with this one. Oh yeah, when I did the Tom Ford reel, I put this one on and it's just so beautiful. But all the blushes, uh, all the colors are really beautiful. I think in a future sale, I will get the red one because I swatched it in store and I thought it looked really beautiful and fresh. But so far these have been a huge hit. Another huge hit, which I think I talked about in my last favorites, junior favorites, it are these Danessa Myricks uh, blushes. If you are looking for a cream blush that doesn't stay sticky, that's more matte on the skin, like the finish, it's not glowy, just try these. The finish is so beautiful, it's so blurring. The colors, I will say they're more intense. Like I wish they would, she would come out with some softer colors. This looks very intense, but you can sh absolutely shear it out and do it softer like that right there. Um, but absolutely love this formula. You, I can't go wrong with this one. I can even use it on my lips. So I have here Rosé and Brunch, and then I have Jubilee. I've done a full video testing these out, putting them on my cheeks, on my eyes, and all the good stuff. So you can watch those if you are interested in seeing them applied. But I love these. These are also more affordable than, you know, like, oops, I dropped that, um, than like the Charlotte Tilbury blushes. They're definitely an amazing product that I think a lot of people are going to love. Even if you're not into creams, you could try these because they're so beautiful. I actually have two more blushes here to talk about. The one I'm wearing today is the Shantikai blush. This is in vibrant and this looks a very intimidating when you first swatch it it's like super intense but the thing i like about these blushes is that it's that gel formula and if it just blends in so easily um i used a brush today a refer brush i'm gonna tell you the number it's the number 37 and it worked really well to apply it and then i kind of went with my fingers around to buff this out now i wouldn't use this with full coverage foundation because i could see how it could pick up the foundation underneath but with the shantikai that already has light coverage i feel like it works really really well i love the finish of this i love that it's not really super glowy but it's not flat and these last so well throughout the day these well this blush i only have this color but the only negative like i mentioned is that you can't really use these with heavy foundation or full coverage i think light to medium it's good but i could see it ugh, maybe lifting the foundation underneath if it's a heavy one but again i haven't had issues with that i I see my freckles through it because I could see my freckles through the um, tinted moisturizer as well, which I don't mind. I think it gives just a little bit of, I don't know, more natural look. And I really like this. Um, the same goes with the highlighter. This is a very light highlighter. This is the color Brilliance from Shantakai. 
and I just like that it gives a little bit of glow but it's almost from within it's a very very light glow i can build this up though this one if i want a really intense highlighter i can definitely build this up and have it more beaming but i like it the way it is like very soft you can even put this under the blush um, you know, to mesh in a little bit better and mix the blush with the highlighter. I, uh, I like this highlighter. It's been kind of my go-to. I usually put it with my fingers and dab it on and I'm good to go. It doesn't emphasize texture. It's just soft. So if you have more mature skin and you're not into highlighters, you just want something for within to glow from within this is really a good one uh i thought i had oh yeah i have another highlighter i've been using the cali ray and i was kind of going back and forth if i like it and if i don't i actually really like it the color is quite cool tone there's another warmer color that i think could work on me and honestly on a lot of people but you see that shine it's quite intense and I like this on the cheeks because when I buff this in it's not as intense and it, it really meshes into my skin well it doesn't show that texture that I've been having it really is beautiful it's a beautiful highlighter the color is again more rosy so it may be a little bright for you but there is another deeper well warmer color not even deeper because this doesn't have a base to it it's just the actual uh sheen and it, it i like the texture it's just a really cool kind of creamy almost texture but it is powder i'm gonna put a little bit on so i'm gonna take just a little bit and i'm pushing it in my brush that way there's not just extra product around and then i'll just add a little bit here i mean you can see how intense it is i take the rest off and just buff this and i feel like the way i buff it buffs in it just creates such a beautiful just beautiful effect mostly when i go outside it almost looks like i splashed some Ah, not water because it has a color but just like I look wet but with highlighter <laughs> okay let's match this side too and you can even use your finger to kind of push this product in I just really like the formula I do think that they need maybe a couple more colors as well but yeah I really like it. It's an intense one, but it doesn't show glitter. It doesn't, it's just smooth. So I've decided I like it, but it's it's quite expensive. I think this was 30, 30 something dollars, maybe 30. Um, and the packaging just feels very cheap. And I never know where exactly to open it because it doesn't have um, a tab or something there. So anyway, don't love the packaging. I actually do like the product. Okay, another blush that I kind of forgot to talk about, but it kind of grew on me. This is the House Lab, the color Watermelon Bliss. And guys, I mean, it's so intense and intimidating, but I like it. I, I feel like it does something to my skin. I take very little. Let's just say you take a brush. I take one thing, then I tap it off. And then I go on the cheeks. Um, I've done a reel on this. I've done a video on reviewing this. But I like it. But I put very little. And you can really have a softer look. I mean, it's still, you know, red, uh, corally. But it, it just has just such a beautiful undertone. And the way it sits on the skin, it's pretty. See, I feel like that already gave me a little bit more life. It's just, I think, a summery blush to me. And obviously, if you want to build it up, you can absolutely build it up. You get so much product in here, though. The price is really high. I think $38 for this. But you get 11 grams. And I just think that's just excessive. I don't know who's going to go through a blush like this. Mostly when it's so pigmented and so intense. I just wish I had half the size and half the price. But I do like the formula and I like the color. I think the color is just unique. Okay, I think that's it for 
blush, highlighter, skin. Um, for the eyes, honestly, I barely wore eyeshadow. The only thing that I wore is this Fluorescis palette, which I'm testing out. And, you know, honestly, I'll tell you that I do like it. Um, I, I mean, I'm trying to think if I've used any other eyeshadow palette this month besides this, just trying to test it out. And I do like it. It's just a work of art, um, but this is not in my favorites. But if you wanted to know, I did enjoy it. However, these Chantecaille, I was gonna say Chanel, um, mermaid eyeshadows are just my go-to. Uh, right now I have the color Sylvie all over the lid, and this is my go-to no makeup makeup kind of eyeshadow. This is a beautiful, brown that is not warm not cool it's just a beautiful neutral and it says it's matte but it has this uh sheen in it that makes it so wearable and so easy to apply and so flattering it is not drying whatsoever and then on top of that i put um the color starfish this is my favorite color from Chantecaille. this is one of my favorite go-to one and done shadow i put a little bit of it i didn't want to overpower the eye look. I just wanted to give it just a dot of purpleness in it. And you can build this one and have it more intense all over the lid. It's a beautiful color. And it's just such an easy everyday eyeshadow. I always use my fingers with these and maybe sometimes I'll use a fluffier brush just to clean up the edges. The mascara I've used almost every day is my Tower 28. It's still good. Uh, when I tried it, I wasn't sure I liked it, but it, I felt like after a week it kind of dried a little bit, but it stayed there. So I can still use it and enjoy it. For the brows, my go-to is this Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. It's all I have on my eyebrows right now. Uh, I take a little bit of the product off, like I scrape the sides of the wand and then go on and put it on my brows. This is 04 Espresso. I forgot to talk about bronzer. This is a huge favorite, Tower 28 Bronzino, no, it's not Bronzino, Sculptino in Getty. Love, love, love this bronzer so much. It is a beautiful, easy, not super pigmented, but not like barely there. Like the Merit's lighter in coverage or my makeup by Mario is lighter. This has a little bit more pigment. I really like the color. This is a neutral color and for me it just works. I love this product so much. I can definitely build it up a little bit. I can, I mean, I can't sheer out too much because then you wouldn't show up, but I, I can work with a color to build it up. Now, it's not going to be super intense, and I think they need more colors because I think this is the second out of four colors, and I, I think I could pull off the third color as well, so I can't imagine if you're really deep that you could use these, um, but I love the formula. I love it. It's easy every day, and this has been my bronzer pretty much every day. So I've been really obsessed with lip products lately. This year has just been all about lips for me. And I'll show you what I have on right now is this Fenty. This is in Sea Sweetheart. And this is their Velvet Liquid Lipstick from Fenty love the formula so so much and this is their kind of lightest shade and you can see so it's not super light um they also have i actually have all the swatches i did a video swatching all five colors i think it was my last video you can check that one out but i've been liking this specific color great uh wears really well throughout the day and yeah easy another discovery has been these from queen Musea. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Yeah, Musea. And I love these. I mean, the packaging is really cute, but the colors are so beautiful. Look at that color. Oh, it's so beautiful. So I'll show you the one that I've worn the most. Actually, I'm just going to swatch all of them for you. They came out with, I think, six colors. These were sent to me, and I'm very thankful because... I do really like them. They're like a, a matte formula, but beautiful. Oh, this is the color that I've used the most right there. This is called Becky Sharp. 
and I really like it. I actually fade this out a little bit. And that's how I wear it. It's beautiful, but I'll intensify the color for those swatches. And I think what I like about this, it's the formula is really nice. Nothing revolutionary, but they are clean and all the, those good stuff. But I like the colors, the undertones. Um, they look simple and easy here, but once you put them on the lips, you're like, oh, wow, like this looks better than I expected. Um, and I think that's what's beautiful. So my favorite is this one right here and this and this, these two, these three. I can't count. So I have here the names. The This one right here is Ada. Then we have Becky Sharp, the one that I mentioned. And then the last one is Dorian, that one right there, right? Yes. So those are my three favorites, but they're all really pretty. And just the way they sit on the lips, the way they look, I just really like the undertones. They're a little bit more muted, which makes them so much more wearable. Like even this orange one, it looks like, oh wow, it's an orange, but it's quite muted. You put a lip liner and you can wear them. Um, and you know, the packaging is kind of fun and cute and yeah. You should check these out. I will link them down below. I think they're really, really cool. And I like I like the undertones a lot. I definitely have reduced the lip category because I could talk an hour just about the lip products. A rediscovery is this one from Westman Atelier. In this, I wouldn't say I recommend it. It's a very expensive. And what you get is, if I can open it, um, this. So... I reach for this to mute out colors. So if I have a color that's too pink or too bright, I go like this and just, here, I'll show you. Add it in the center. It does something to the product on my lips. It, it just mutes it down. It's almost like a beautiful balm that hydrates, but also like, maneuvers the color and changes it a little bit. I, I've been reaching for this quite a bit. As you can see, it's quite destroyed. Mainly this two right here, but honestly, I could swirl my hand all over and just dab it all of my uh, lips. I use my finger all the time, but I feel like every time I use this one, I like my lip look. It's not, I wouldn't say it's worth the money whatsoever. And it's not a product that I use on its own. I always use this in combination with another lipstick. So I thought I would mention it. It was, I almost didn't mention it because I don't want you guys to think that this is great and worth the money, but for the thing that I use it, it's wonderful. And I'll share only two other ones, although I have like 50 more, but these are the ones that were kind of a standout product. This one right here is from Clarins, and the way I've been using this one is with a brown browner lip liner. So this looks, you know, very intimidating, but it's really not. It's their lip oil, and the color is sheer. You can see right here. And this has this doe foot applicator that reminds me of the Dior one. Mm, smells like cherry and actually the color is called cherry but pairing this with like a browner lip liner this is how I've been wearing this I've been well, wearing the makeup by Mario in the color toasty kind of blend this out into the my lip and oh it's almost kind of like an all-over lip product and right in the center I will put this lip balm and it just gives such a juicy, interesting color. You know what? I'm going to put it on. So I put the lip liner in right in the center. I feel like there's still a little bit of that color left from the other one, but right here. I do that. And I kind of buff it out, but I don't want it everywhere. Oh, I love this effect. I love the effect that this has. This actually wears really well with Tower 28 Work of Art, which has been my everyday lip liner. I'm trying to find it here. It's probably in my purse, most likely, because it lives there. But that has been such a good lip liner to combine with this. I love the fact that the center of the lip is more 
red and then the rest is kind of muted. This lip oil is just so wonderful, so nourishing. It smells real nice. I really like this red color. It just brings something something different to my everyday look and it's not a product that I wear you know with heavy like with the eye look I have right now it's usually a product that I wear on its own just with barely their makeup so I think that oh no I have one more I was about to say that's it um one more mention that I uh tried not for long but I really like these. These are from Glossier and it's, I think the Gen Generation G matte lipsticks. Uh, I have here two colors and I'm gonna do a um, Glossier video soon. But this formula, I had to talk about it because since I bought them, I've been wearing them non-stop. They're kind of in my purse, my everyday kind of go-to lip liners, not lip liners, lip sticks. So this one right here is like, and this is the color cake. And these are those kind of matte, blotted, sheer lipsticks. I love these kinds of formula. The Gucci, not Gucci, the Givenchy has the sheer matte velvet formula, but these are not similar. These are much sheerer and matte. Now the one negative thing that I found with these is that they're quite matte on the lips and drying. Like I would not, um, if you have super dry lips, this is not for you. If you have super cracked lips, this is not for you. It's not, they're not moisturizing. The Shivanshi are quite moisturizing and they feel just like an everyday lipstick. These are more matte on the lip. However, the finish that it has, that blotted effect, and it's so beautiful and they stay on really well. I've been wearing them daily and haven't felt like, oh my gosh, I need to wear something on top of it because my lips are so dry, but they're not those moisturizing lipsticks. So I, that's a big negative that I've, I've heard. Oops, a lot of people complain about them, but to me, the effect that these have is so worth the slight dryness that you feel with them because you get that beautiful kind of barely there blotted lip effect. It's just, just beautiful. And those are all the products I wanted to mention for the month of February. I would love to know your favorites or go-to products that you used in February. And that is it. I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.